A typical power outlet has three connections, live, neutral, and earth. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at what each one of those actually does. Now, of course, I could explain this topic the way I usually do, uh, by just talking about it and maybe showing some drawings, but I thought I'd make it a little bit more interesting. So I've actually built a scale model of a, uh, a utility power system, if you will. Uh, and so we're gonna take a look at that so that you can actually see what's going on. So this is the scale model that I've made. Um, and basically this is what's going on in the real world, uh, except a bit simplified and a bit smaller. So on this side over here, we've got a transformer. Uh, and in the real world, this would be some big transformer down the street or you know somewhere in the neighborhood and it takes high voltage AC power from the power grid uh, and converts it into a low voltage AC that you can use in your house to power appliances. So it takes uh, multiple thousands of volts as the input and on the output we have a few hundred volts. So we have uh, 240 volts AC or in case you're in America, uh, 120 volts AC that goes to your house. In this case, because it's a scale model, this is not 240 volts AC because, you know, I want to be able to handle these wires safely. So in this case, we have 240 volts as the input and about 12 volts going to our house over here. So then, of course, we have two wires going to the house uh, and there they're connected to this light bulb. So the light bulb is connected in between these two wires. So the electric current goes through the light bulb and therefore uh, it turns on. So now, of course, the question is, which one of these wires is live and which one of these wires is neutral? Well, in fact, if you just take the output of a transformer, there is no difference between these wires. They're perfectly equivalent. There is no concept of live and neutral. But what we do is we connect one of these wires to a pole that is driven into the ground. As you can see, this wire over here is connected to the earth, and therefore this wire will be at zero volts relative to the earth, right? The voltage between this wire and the ground is going to be zero because it's connected to the ground. And so from now on, this wire is what we call neutral. And this wire is therefore live. So at this point, there is still one wire that we haven't talked about uh, and one wire that is also not present in this setup, which is the earth wire or ground wire. So what does that actually do? Well, many appliances have metal parts that are not part of the electric circuit. In this case, the light here, uh, as you can see, is connected to the wall of the house using some kind of uh, metal bracket. So that's kind of the same as a, a metal box around the washing machine. It's a piece of metal that is not part of the circuit. So normally that exposed metal is completely safe to touch because it's, again, not part of the circuit. But what if something goes wrong with the wires? You know, what if the live wire gets loose and touches this metal bracket that is used to mount the, uh, the lamp? Or what if inside your washing machine the live wire gets loose uh, and touches the metal housing of the washing machine? So this is where the ground wire comes in. So the ground wire is an additional wire that comes into your house uh, that connects to the exposed metal parts of an appliance. So in this case, it connects to this metal bracket over here. Uh, for a washing machine, it connects to the metal box. For a microwave, it connects to the metal box. But essentially, it connects to the metal parts of a machine that are not supposed to be part of the circuit. And then the other side of that ground wire is connected, you guessed it, to the earth. Right? That could be at a, a a local ground pole at the house. It could be connected to the neutral wire inside your electrical box. It could be connected to the neutral wire, you know, somewhere down the street, like here. Uh, and in some cases, which is what I'm going to do here, it runs all the way back to the transformer and connects to the ground pin uh, of that. So in this case, it would connect to this. And so now, this exposed metal part is always connected to the earth. And so it's always kept at zero volts. 
regardless of what happens to the wiring inside this thing. So even if there is dodgy wiring and the live wire would ever touch that metal part, it doesn't matter because the live wire gets shorter to ground through that earth wire and so the metal part would stay at zero volts and therefore it would be safe to touch it. So there you go, this is what the uh, the live neutral and earth wires actually are and uh, how they are connected typically in the power grid. Now of course I did simplify it a bit because in, uh, in most modern situations you've actually got three live wires, so three phases coming into the house. Uh, or if you live in America it's likely that you have a split phase supply where you have two live wires coming into the house. Uh, but the basic principle remains the same. You have a neutral wire which is kept at zero volts relative to the ground and then you have one or more live wires that are at some AC voltage relative to the ground and to the neutral wire and finally there is an earth wire that connects to exposed metal parts for safety purposes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and of course thank you for watching. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at why this freaking piece of paper falls off while lighting. Wait a second.